Hello everybody and welcome, welcome back NECC quarterfinals with your St. Clair Saints here versus University of Alabama Huntsville. My name is Jackson Brown, joined alongside Daniel Jobin. And we should be able to get game started play. here with this game match game here. So, so first we had the control. Okay, so first we had players joining. We were just waiting for players to join. And then we had a controller issue. And so we got underway. We got fixed with that one. And then now here we go. We had server connection issues. So it turned out that the side of University of Alabama Huntsville couldn't connect to St. Clair's lobbies. And now we're switching things around. St. Clair is connecting to University of Alabama Huntsville's lobby. So that's kind of sums up the past 25 minutes of our lives here for you guys as uh, we're looking to get underway with game one here and I actually do believe we're all in lobby and we're getting ready we are good to go I'm happy to see that everything is working out well here now so we are going to be stingering into the game and yes, we are going say, to be getting it some match it. here <laughs> now here we go let's see Kamal coming through here I want to get the starting lineup for University of uh, Alabama so we got Josh we got Skates and we do have X so nice very nice to see. Yes, nice and easy for the names. Always good to see. With that being said, Fusion trying to go for the offensive play early on. We were talking about this in the pregame show, yeah. right? Fusion, he's going to come through. He's going to show his offensive aggression. And he's really going to be trying to make these plays happen when it does come to goal scoring. Where we do see a little bit more of Kamal and Spoots on the back line. But with that being said, the University of Alabama off to a great start. They've been uh, holding the majority of the time of possession in this first 40 seconds. Yeah, decent job holding in the same zone for the time being. Spoots able to get the chip down into the corner. Ball's going to gonna tip back towards mid. Josh and excellent double commit for it. Ball's going to go across midline. Well, going to chip it back into the corner. Going to try to set up use for something across the slot, but Spoots unable to get the boost and get over there in time to get the redirect. But a decent little setup there for St. Clair so far. Fusion working off the wall with Kamal pretty well to start things off, though. Kamal going to try to set up something else unable to do so. Josh. We'll chip it back out into the corner. Spoods will try to play it out here. And St. Clair and UAH trading uh, decent chances back and forth to start things off. Yeah, Spoods trying to go for a little bit of a solo run here before getting denied. And it's now Fusion in the corner, sending it sky high. Spoods for a demo. Skates, though, will come away with this one, sending it into the corner of St. Clair. Kamal quick to interfere with the play as we do have Spoods coming top down. Kamal here to pick this one up, trying to send it over to Fusion. Look at him. He's down there, and he's ready. A quick little deke, but he's actually going to take it himself. And Josh with the save. That's the first minute and a half of our game here, now already gone scoreless. Yeah, finally having an actual shot, and then another redirect, unable to go through for Fusion. So St. Clair, decent pressure so far. Kamal will end up keeping the ball in the other end. Gonna try to find something off the back wall here. Spoon's gonna try to find up and find it. Ball goes into the corner. Kamal gonna try to set up Fusion. Fusion will get a shot at the net. Will it go in? Bark down, unable to hit in the net. Right down, redirect goes in, and Kamal will end up cleaning up. So Fusion, great job to set that one up and get the shot on that, and Kamal there to clean it up and get St. Clair the lead. Three words, rebounds, rebounds, yep. rebounds. That is Kamal coming through, playing in the crease. A great sign there for the Saints. Starting things off with a bang, finding the back of the net early on in this game. Number one is exactly what they needed to find their rhythm, to find their flow, to be putting themselves in the driver's seat of this game. We see Fusion going in for another one immediately here after his assist over for Kamal. Another Ooh. shot under the net will not go. But look at this. This was the aggression from yes. Fusion we were talking about. And this is what we said St. Clair. If they wanted to start off, and put a stamp on this series. They had to come out and they had to be aggressive and they had to throw the first punch. And so far, they're hitting UAH with everything they've got. Gonna be a great redirect. Come on with a beautiful set up to Spoon. St. Clair with an early 2 0 lead in game one. Hey, come on, man. You found a goal. Here's oh, your assist. Look at that play. By. 180 up in the air just to drop that one down to Spoods. Spoods will knock it home, and your Saints will take a multi-goal advantage over the side of University of Alabama. Huntsville here now in game number one. We're approaching this halfway marker here now, Joven. Do you think this 2-0 lead is enough for St. Clair? Uh, I would say probably not, but the level of aggression and the level of the amount of shots they're getting on the net already gives me a lot of hope for this team so far because they've had him the last like two minutes have pretty much been stuck in UAH's zone, although Josh will try to get a breakout and try to start something smooth. We'll end up denying it, but they've pretty much been living in UAH's zone and they've been getting excellent chances and they've been setting up, they've had a lot of really, really clean passing plays so far, which is kind of surprising considering oh. they might not always play with each other. Another close shot on net though. She's unable to find anything, but like we said, St. Clair just playing so strong for everything just looks like it's clicking already two minutes in. Yeah, Saints definitely look like a roster that's playing very, very well here tonight. They have, you know, the first 45 seconds of that game, it was all in favor of University of Alabama. They had that possession. They were getting these shots off. But since then, St. Clair has really just taken their dominant presence with this one. Like I was saying, controlling the tempo of this game. And it's now the first time in quite some time that we've seen UAH take this one into St. Clair's territory. Yeah, UAH is going to try to have to find, they got a pretty good one or two shots in that early in the game. Haven't really found anything 
substantial to stench. Fusion is going to chip it into the corner. So once again, Sankler going to try to find something. Going to try to start the breakout. Axel trying to get the back tap. Will miss the ball. Fusion going to try to set up Spoods. Unable to get the ball on that, but is going to keep it in the corner for the time being. Skates going to get the contest. Going to set it up to X. Come on. Looks like he'll try to challenge us out of the area. We'll end up doing so. Going to hit the ball back towards mid. Josh going to try to do something with it. Going to set up Skates. Skates knocks it to the middle. Spoods is going to come across to easily make the save so far. So St. Clair able to hold that two-goal lead. And just you blink like that, only a minute and 15 left already. This clock seems to be flying. The clock going down with no goals being scored does nothing but benefit St. Clair yeah. here right now because it limits the time that University of Alabama actually does have to try to find these goals to answer back, to try to come through and tie this game, to try to force this overtime. So St. Clair, at this point in time, they just got to hold on. I mean, now that yeah. you're under a minute, I think you can start playing a little bit more heavier on the defense. A shot bar down once again with will not go rebound fusion will find his first year after quite some setups after quite some assists drops down josh tries to knock it away but it's gonna hit the post sets up fusion for the rebound and a goal scored top right corner it's a three nothing game and that might just seal it up here jobin yeah and unfortunately for uah they had to stop an own goal from going in there that would have been a bar down own goal for them so fusion able to find the perfect place at the right time able to, to crash that goal in and now make it a huge three nothing lead at st Clair. Just got to play a little bit of time controller and UAH. I'm not sure they're going to have anything. They're going to have to score one in the next 5, 10 seconds, I would say, to have a, a decent chance at this. Yeah, it has to be scored before 25-second marker here in my eyes. And there's a nice shot that could have opened things up. One goal there changes everything here in this matchup. But with the clear from Kamal, with this one getting dumped into the zone of University of Alabama Huntsville, I think this one is going to wrap up the game here with 20 seconds left. they got to find three goals still to tie things up and force an OT. Sinclair is not slowing down with your offensive pressure. And that should be wrapping up game one. We told you in the pregame how important it would be for St. Clair to find game one in the series. Now the fact that they do find game one it really helps their footing moving forwards. And that was a damn clean game offensively and defensively. They only get, they only had a little bit of time in the defensive zone. They were able to mitigate any really good chances from UAH. I think UAH maybe only had two, three decent shots in that in St. Clair. They'd get it in the back end. They would chip it up to the front, and then there'd be a fantastic two to three man setup, and they'd end up finding the back of the net. Three shots on the side of UAH compared to the six of St. Clair. Yeah. That's the thing. They're doubling the shots. Even. They're having more quality shots. And look at the assists Ooh. and saves. That's the thing as well. St. Clair had the same amount of saves as the side of UAH, but it would double the shots. Yeah. And they each had a goal. It's not just one player coming out and making this huge impact right now. They're all coming through. We see, look at this stat line, for example, on Kamal. <laughs> one, 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 and two. <laughs> you, that is a perfect stat exactly. line. You're showing that you're all around. You're being a team player, and you're on every side of the ball. We, we Even yeah. in the pregame, we're talking about how Kamal is going to be that player that's very versatile yep. and can be a flex player. That proves my point right there. That stat line right in front of you. Yeah, and we saw Fusion do a great job. He was just crashing the offensive glass the entire half there, the entire game for the most part. And he was able to get find chance after chance eventually. Then they had to stop. They, I, I believe, would have been an own goal. He's there. He had just that constant offensive pressure. He knew he was going to be in the right place, able to find his goal to get on the board as well in St. Clair. It doesn't get much better than that for game one, so hopefully got to double up on that for game two. Majority of their goals, they were found from the rebounds. And yes. I think you got to stay aware of that. you got to make yourself set up for the rebounds. Even if you don't find the highest quality shot, fire it away. Yes. Because chances are, if you have a Saint member there to actually get that rebound, that's a huge opening. Yeah. The goalie's out of position. Uh, but we do see University of Alabama Huntsville coming out of the gates with a nice little aggression over towards the St. Clair zone. But it does not look like St. Clair is very happy about this. <laughs> and they're immediately sending this one away. Kamal's trying to go for a solo play. Off the backboard, drops it down. But X will be there to deny Boots trying to go for his own aerial play. Will he get denied? Not quite. Sends it over to the top right corner. Will not go off the top. Backboard Fusion trying to set it up there for his fellow teammate Kamal as it drops down. Some nice shots for St. Clair early on, but nothing will give. Yeah, St. Clair laying a couple of combos there in front of the net for UAH, but UAH answering the call so far flawlessly. Going to get a decent shot on net there from X. Going to try to back top it off the ceiling. Kamal going to try to break out here into the corner. We'll get the air dribble past Josh. Going to try to find something. X going to try to take it out of the corner. Spoods will end up getting the contest and keeping it in. Going to try to find something. Skates will end up getting the chip, but decent little back and forth from both teams. Both teams, they can, you can tell, they want to come out aggressive and they want to try to impose their will, and both teams are refusing to give an inch, but St. Clair... Still able to hold that offensive pressure. Fusion is going to try to get something set up. Ball's going to get tipped through mid. X will end up tipping it away, but Saints still have their hands on the ball, and they still have a decent shot here at making something happen. Yeah, I like when Kamal comes from the skies because he's so valuable <laughs> there. Kamal will find a demo, actually. Uh, so a nice little play from our Sorry, a shot. A demo comes through for yes. University of Alabama, but... This ball has been bouncing a lot around towards midfield a little bit Ooh. more. A shot from Josh, but Kamal barely sneaks back in time. And now it's Spooge translating this one into an offensive play. It's like watching a game of tennis. The ball has just been in midair going back and forth over the center line the entire game. So far. Josh going to find a shot on that fusion. 
right there and waiting. So once again, every single member of the Saints participating in that backline defense and finding a safe spoon. going to get the clear off the top of the net there. Try to put it off through mid. X is going to get the, the tip back into the uh, Saints mid there. Going to try to set it up over the slot. Josh going to a little bit of misfire there. Send it into the corner. Spoon's going to try to handle it and get it out towards mid. UH with pretty good offensive pressure. Going to get a bullet shot. Kamal back taps that ball out of the net. Able to keep the score at 0-0 in St. Clair. Just holding on, but a lot of pressure from UAH to start this. Yeah, Kamal has been huge on the defense here right now. He's setting up a clinic for the side of St. Clair here on how to play goalie in Rocket League. It's going to be in some nice plays, keeping the scoreline at 0-0, but this looks like a new University of Alabama Huntsville roster. But a goal! Oh, I was going to say oh, goal, but Fusion so. will hit their crossbar. It's not going to come through. But yeah, like I was saying, this is a different roster we're seeing from Alabama Huntsville right now. They are really starting to make an impact on this one and keeping it at zeros here after halfway through the game. This was a 2 nothing scoreline at this point yep. of the game last time around. So St. Clair definitely getting a shut down on some of the opportunities they were looking to find early on. Josh actually now looking to make a play. Yeah, this has been an absolute dogfight through two and a half minutes so far. Both teams able to find a couple good chances on that, but UAH definitely has the pressure advantage so far in St. Clair. Smooth is going to try to knock it out over mid here. Once again, Skate's going to be on the contest, and Josh won the Picking it up over mid, so maybe UAH can set something up here. Josh got to try to dribble it, try to get the flip reset. Look at the top on the ball. Oh. The ball comes across the goal line just at the right time to knock it away. And then Spoons knocks it away as well and turns skates away at the door. St. Clair able to hold this game tied so far. And another crack of the net. And once again, third time's the charm. Kamal knocks it away as well. So St. Clair able to somehow keep the game score scoreless throughout three minutes here. What is the over under wow. on Kamal saves right now? Oh. Like it has got to be like six, seven. Oh. Like I mean, that is crazy. Kamal has just been a a force to reckon with here on the defensive end. As we do see him now taking it in actually for an offensive play. Spoods will find it from underneath, but X will be there as the last resort. That insurance policy for Alabama Huntsville gonna come through and allow this game to still stay at the zero zero scoreline we see in front of us. Kamal sends it high, but Josh looks like he's ready to defund this one away. And Spoods gonna send it off the top backboard. Set up for Fusion, shot on net, but will be denied. Skates shutting that one down. We have seen so many strong offensive chances from both teams. Something has got to give here. I think something's going to give up our overtime. Only one minute left. Both teams still unable to find the back of the net. Although for not, not for a lack of chances, both teams have had excellent chances. Oh. Look at the tip. Spoon just catching the tip of it and able to knock it away. Able to keep this score 0-0 still with 50 seconds remaining. Both teams trying to find what could be the game-winning goal here in match two to start off. Josh gonna try to knock it into the corner, gonna try to hit the little flip, flip reset. We'll get knocked away over mid. Skates will come flying across boots. Our fusion gets there first. We'll knock it into UAH's zone. So 40 seconds left. St. Clair gonna try to find one here, but both teams still just trying to find the one to break open the door. Yeah, this one is, uh, this next goal is going to win the game. I, I, think so. I hate to say it, but I, in my eyes, I just don't see a world where two more goals are scored in this one, just how these two teams have been playing. So it's got, it's essentially a goal and goal kind of yeah. type scenario here at this point in time. you got 20 seconds left on the clock. Uh, you're about to head into overtime unless you can find something massive here. A couple shots coming through for the Saints, but nothing will actually be rewarded here for themselves. Spoots slowing this play down a little bit here to allow his defenders to come up. He's going to fuel up on the boost. Skates here on the offense, trying to find a last chance goal but it does look like we will be headed into overtime oh. unless this one will be scored here it's in the air as soon as this one touches the ground it will be sent to overtime and here it comes oh. overtime game two and this is a big one for UAH yes. if they don't find this Saints are up 2-0 and on series point yeah and if they're able to find it just like that series is even and all of a sudden the ball's back in your court and you can come back and go okay now it's one of them we can recenter fusion is going to try to tip it into the corner. Sankler is going to try to get that early pressure going against Spoods. Unable to make contact. Come on, we'll double commit. Maybe caught Spoods in the back there, so maybe knocked him out of the air a little bit, but he's still able to keep the ball in UAH's zone. X is going to try to clear it out. Fusion going to keep it in, though, so Sankler, decent job of pressure to start off overtime so far. Spoods will knock it up in the air. We'll go off the ceiling. We'll get saved away by Skate, so decent opportunity there, but unable to find the back of the net. And 30 seconds in so far, and both teams just still trying to find Ooh. the first goal. Good demo from Kamal. We'll take Josh out of the play there, but was just not able to follow it up with a shot on the net. So Josh now back in action, ready to go, ready to make a play. That's a wide open net with two players there, but luckily for St. Clair, they will have somebody swipe by and stop that play from coming through. I think it was once again Kamal, yeah. actually, as it's now bouncing around. It's going to enter the Saints corner. Skates is here. This is scary for St. Clair. Yeah, this has been like watching two starting pitchers in baseball just go nine scoreless innings, just strikeout after strikeout. Both teams, no matter which way they've been trying to put this ball in the net, they just cannot seem to find an answer. Fusion, going to try to find something over the middle. UAH, going to be ready for it in the corner, going to try to play it back out here. Spoods, going to be able to knock it back toward the corner. Maybe it can air dribble it here. It will get knocked away by Skate, so 
Ball will drift around midfield. Skate's gonna try to flip it into the corner. Kamal will it be there to answer? Josh trying to find something to set up in the middle, maybe. Axe will be on the back foot. Kamal trying to set up something finally for St. Cloud. They haven't had too much offensive time the last little while, so they're trying to find some chances here. Spoots gonna knock it back to the middle with a decent shot on that, but Josh easily able there to turn it away. Kamal gonna try to get the redirect now. They're trying to set it over mid. The redirect comes through from mid Fusion. From Fusion and St. Clair closes game two in overtime. Fusion will take it here in six minutes and 40 seconds. Your Saints will close this one out after seeing what was that like? Nine minutes of scoreless Rocket oh. League. We do see a goal hit the back of the net there. Saints taking a 2 nothing series lead. We talked about how important 2 nothing series leads are. The impact they can have on games. And oh. taking a 2 nothing series lead right now as St. Clair is really going to provide some problems here now for University of Alabama Huntsville. I think that game had 15 total saves in it. So if you want to talk about defense and standing on your head, I think Kamal, I think he ended up having five saves. So just under six, but it was pretty close. But that many saves that both teams were just defensively on one, and that was, that was just an absolute, that was a dogfight start yeah. to finish. Here's the problem I see right now for UAH. They have these nice shots coming through, and they're really setting up for nice plays, but they haven't scored yet. True, They have, true. They have not found the momentum wow. they need. St. Clair only has three, so it's not crazy high, but St. Clair has something. They have yes. the 2-0 series lead after those three goals, and uh, now at this point in time, if you're UAH, you have to find this sort of sense of momentum, this fire to uh, burn underneath you to actually try to find these wins, uh, to find these playing chances, because uh, right now, St. Clair has you scoreless after 12 minutes, approaching 13 minutes yeah. of play here right now. And when you're at that point in time, you got to try to turn things around. A nice shot for Kamal, but Josh is there for the D9. Yeah, and just like you were talking about, with how many excellent chances they've had, you know they have to be almost sitting there scratching their heads like, what more can we do to these guys to try to put one of these in the net? But they haven't seen one going yet, so St. Clair definitely going to have a little bit of a mental edge in that department. Spoods able to get a shot easily turned away by Josh. Here's him. We'll get a nice little chip back toward the middle. Spoods. We'll get the 50-50. We'll go back into the corner. Come on, gonna try to follow up, unable to do so. Fusion will be on that back line, though, just waiting and waiting for the ball. We'll try to chip it up to the corner. Gonna try to set something up here. We'll knock it into the corner a little further. X, we'll get the redirect. Gonna try to send it back towards Kamal. Kamal, we'll Ooh. challenge. We'll get the demo on X, so won't get the ball, but we'll get the demo. Spoon, well, we'll try to break it out for St. Clair and try to find something. It's already a minute five here and no goals again. Yeah, man, it, this is a, a low-scoring <laughs> game. I mean, we didn't really know uh, what to expect coming into this one. It's a roster from St. Clair that we don't see put together every day as consisting of these three players. And then as for the side of UAH, it's a roster we haven't seen a whole lot yeah. through, throughout this past semester, throughout this past year. So to see these two teams compete, we really did not know what was in store for us here today. And now we do. It's, yes. a, it's a defensive battle between these two teams. Each goal scored has such an impact. Like, I think one goal is just like... Like, right now, even at this point in time, yep. one goal is game-changing. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's, I love a good defensive struggle, but that makes every single goal worth almost... It almost makes one goal worth two in some of these games, because you know it's so hard to just get the one. We have to put in two and a half, maybe three minutes, or longer if you're UAH, still not finding a way to get on the board. Ball will knock oh, off wow. the crossbar. Redirect will come through. Spoons with actually a decent chance there, but unable to find the back of the net. Now, three minutes of Kamal. We'll get another demo on X. So maybe St. Clark can try to find something here. Spoons. we'll try to hit the ball in the corner. Ball will wow. go over the goal line off the crossbar. Fusion unable to get the finish. Kamal will try to get the follow-up here. St. Clair still got the ball in the end. They're going to try to find something here. Ball will go back down toward their crease. Fusion going to try to be there to play it out of the net. Skates ready to get the redirect, but St. Clair got to play it off the back foot here. UAH has got a decent good of offensive pressure at the zone right now. Yeah, they have a good amount of pressure. However, St. Clair, they got just unlucky denies yeah. there. I mean, some tough bounces there. Going to hit the crossbar in a couple of these plays. Getting deflected from UAH, but this is going to be Fusion left. Oh, St. Clair's committing a little too much to the offense. Yeah. I think they're getting a little Ooh. too confident. Double demo. And getting too aggressive, but Josh, last oh. second save. No, Fusion will get that one coast to go unassisted off the car at 50 miles per hour or sorry kilometers per hour it was a dribble through it was a race to get back to this one x had no boost there and at this point in time st Clair will find a goal they never thought of finding it's a one nothing game just over halfway through yeah fusion shot it toward kamal and x kamal and x actually double demo so there was just no one back in the back line to play the ball so the ball josh just has to sadly watch it trickle in and if you're uah you work so hard to try to find it, and then Sinclair gets one like that three minutes in. I know that's got to be hurting, but they don't really have time to move around. They have to try to get back at this game because the clock and the series are not their friend right now. Well, only four goals have been scored in 14 oh. minutes of play, 15 minutes of play almost here. So with only four goals actually coming through and none of which going in the favor of UAH, it really makes me concerned. What are the odds they can find one here in the last few seconds? Another great shot from Spoot. Skates though fair for the denial. And uh, I mean, 
this is your chance to yeah. shine if you're Alabama Huntsville. I mean, this is your last opportunity. If you do not score here, you will be sent packing out of the NECC playoffs. Yeah, it's gut check time. You're down two nothing in the series on a best of, in the single elimination. You're down one nothing with a minute and a half. You haven't found the back of the deck. Huge oh. double by Kamalo next. The ball floats into the corner. Kamal with the huge double and ends up finding the goal as well with a tip for fusion. So St. Clair. That might be the nail in the coffin. A little bit of time left still for UAH, but that's going to be a really tall mountain to climb if you're Alabama. So a few weeks ago, I said on a broadcast that I think that uh, demos could be a little bit more valuable yeah. in Rock League. I think they can update the make demos a little bit more valuable. I completely am slapping myself in the face right now <laughs> for that one because demos have the impact that they need. Kamal with the beautiful one there, and St. Clair will find their second. That's going to be their fifth goal here of this evening. However, UAH still yet to find the back of the net, and this is really concerning. Now that St. Clair has a multi-goal advantage, this is St. Clair's series to win. This is St. Clair's yeah. game to take, and they are looking to do it in dominant fashion. Yeah, if you're St. Clair, if you're eating, if you can eat 35, even if you give up a goal, if you can eat 35, 40 seconds off this clock, there's a very strong chance you walk out of here with the dub. So to try to keep this offensive pressure smooth, it's going to try to find something over the middle. Going to get the double tap as well. Maybe Kamal got to try to swing back and find something. Fusion. Going to knock it up. A lot of Saints on the offensive end, though, so they have to be careful. Almost a triple commit there, so they have to be careful. The demo will come through on Kamal. X trying to get some revenge on Kamal for the last couple times he got him in front of the net. Smooth. I'm able to make contact in front of the net, but if you're St. Clair, you don't really care so much about contact as the clock ticking down, and Kamal still going to find a decent shot on that. X will turn it away, but 33 seconds now. UAH just kind of dribbling the ball around in their corner, and St. Clair more than happy to engage this right now. That 30, 40 seconds that you need to burn off the clock, if you're St. Clair that you were talking about just a, a few moments ago, is exactly what they got. They burned that 40 seconds off. They are now just at 15 seconds here remaining, and for UAH to find their only two goals of this whole series right here, right now, is not going to be an easy task. Fusion to put the icing on the cake, to tuck the cherry on the sundae. St. Clair will clean this one up. 3 nothing here right now. 13 seconds remain, but it's looking like all St. Clair. 3 nothing is what I'm, uh, it's looking like they're going to take this series. Yeah, just waiting on the fat lady to start singing right now. Only 13 seconds left on UAH's NECC season. Kamal, going to try to find maybe one more over the middle. Two devils going to come through for the side of UAH, though, so... Looks like maybe we'll get out of here. It looks like five seconds left. So unless you are able to find the back of the net here, St. Clair will have played a essentially flawless series and one second left. Ball will have to just touch the floor. Your fusion waiting in the net. And wow. St. Clair has just played a virtually flawless series of Rocket League in the playoffs. You know, in baseball, you can pitch a no-hitter, and this is the equivalent in Rocket League. No goal scored through 17 minutes wow. of play. 17 minutes of play, 20-plus shots on your net. Or I wouldn't say 20-plus plus, 20 plus shots. I'd say like 10-plus shots in your net. I mean, uh, there was eight the one game, so yeah. it was close probably, yes. yeah. 17 minutes of play, and uh, you do not get scored on. And I think you owe a lot of this to Kamal. you oh, you got to yeah. give the credit towards Duke Kamal. Spoots, five saves, in the, or sorry, five shots in this game, but... The saves, Kamal made a huge impact. Going to yeah. really help the Saints find a 3 nothing series victory over the side of University of Alabama Huntsville Blue here in this matchup. Yes. And they're going to be advancing to semis here now. I'm not actually quite sure when semis is actually played out, but it should be next week. Yeah, and I'd say, honestly, we predicted the, the roster moves like pretty well. We, we probably just guessed what, Comp or not Comp, what Kamal and uh, Spoods were going to try to do. We said Fusion's going to be that offensive guru down in the end. And honestly, kind of what it looked like. Fusion was there on the back line, played a lot of good defense when they needed it. But we honestly kind of nailed it. We know it. what we're talking about. Yeah, we, uh, for <laughs> once, we kind of nailed it. Honestly, not too bad, man. Yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with how we did there when it uh, came from saying, oh, you know, you, you have these two players in the back lane, these ones on the front line. It really worked out well, and that's exactly what we saw. Fusion really was a huge asset yes. to setting up the team, to setting up these plays, to allowing these playmaker plays to come through, and uh, really keeping the aggression there yep. for St. Clair, keeping the side of Alabama Huntsville on their toes. But that being said, Saints advancing to semifinals. I just got confirmation that the next matchup will be the following Tuesday, so one week from today, and you should be seeing the Saints compete there in semifinals. I'm expecting to see the same roster considering how well they performed yes. here tonight. Um, but with that being said, I mean, we went through a lot of our sponsors, our merchandise, yeah. our recruiting, all of that. You guys heard about all that. We don't want to we don't want to bore you here with what it once again here after the show. We talked a lot about that here before the show with that one. Uh, but uh, Jobin, any opinions? Man, I that's the best kind of way you want to start off the playoffs. You play that cleanly. I'd expect to see that roster exactly in that form next week. And man, Fusion and everybody, they really stepped up. And honestly, that just looked like three well-rounded Rocket League players that just did what they, they do they were supposed to do. And that's as good as you can play, man. That's, that's exactly what you want to see moving forward. Yeah, it's exactly what you do have to see moving forward here for sure. Because I, I think that that was some of the best Rocket League I've seen from those three players. Yeah. Like, I mean, they really came together. And usually uh, players that might not play together as much as like 
like a consistent three group as much as you maybe see your comp jan spooge yeah. group play together um they played very well the chemistry was there they had a lot of yeah. good communication uh great passing a plays lot of as set well. plays that like, act, like it was like oh my god they looked like they drove that like tons of times it was like it was really shocking but i guess that maybe they've been working behind the scenes but to see yeah three players that don't always play together look like they haven't missed a beat together it was like they can start off like that i think at pretty high hopes moving well, forward and the last time the sinclair played uah blue uh they actually ended up going to game four or five yes. and going to game four or five is uh it, sorry winning 3-0 after going to yes. game four or five last time around is definitely an improvement what you do like to see for the side of st Clair, and they are looking to do so once again here yes. now in semifinals. We, i don't think we have our opponent quite yet i'm not exactly sure on who we will be playing up yeah. against quite yet uh, but we will have more information out on that throughout our social media over this week so if you guys haven't already make sure you follow us on all of our social saints gaming ca to stay up to date with everything saints gaming related but that being said i think that's uh all for this evening here jobin yeah i mean not a bad way to come back to the booth a little 3-0 get a little flawless and a couple nice goals to boot so can't complain yeah nice flawless game for the saints but with that being said guys thank you so so much and you know hit the sleep early if you are a college student you got exams you got finals make yeah. sure you head to bed uh but with that one being said thank you guys so much for tuning in here with myself and jobin this evening and we will be signing off good luck to the saints here going forwards in nec semifinals we'll be back here in just a couple days with some rainbow six siege